Now our topic is first law of motion. So to know first law of motion, here I am giving one example of that. Uh, for example, here we are having friction frictionless surface. So I am putting one ball on the top of this frictionless surface, right? Now here. We are having second surface similar to that, similar up to that height. So frictionless surface also this ball is in vacuum. So we are just describing this demonstration inside vacuum, no atmosphere here we are having, right? So when I free fall the ball, just that ball is moving towards this, right? So due to gravity, it will move further. So here we are providing this inside vacuum, but still we have to give this ball inside gravity. So this ball exert, this ball have to feel some gravity. So that's why it will move towards in this direction. So remember this whole demonstration inside vacuum, but still this ball getting some gravitational force from the earth and also this is frictional less surface so after moving this ball gain same height right but let us suppose that if this is on the earth we are doing this demonstration on the earth what happens due to air resistance due to friction this ball is not up to this height it is decreased than that height so it is arrived at arrived decrease means height is decreased than the previous one right similar now again we are moving on to same example same we are in vacuum and also we are having gravitational force and this is frictional less surface right again i am drawing i am making greater angle than previous one height are same but angles is greater than that again same vacuum so if i am just free falling that ball it will move further and it will reach again with the same height again i am making greater angle same height right so again free fall and then that ball reaches towards the top most reaches the same height so heights are same always remember again this is we are providing vacuum and we are providing gravitational force also and this is frictionless surface now one observation one conclusion that we can conclude that that if this ball is moving further that ball have tendency to reach that height that that ball we remove from so it is it have tendency to reach that height again right so if now I am making greater angle and now that angle is horizontal. Now our surface is horizontal and now I let this ball free fall. Then this ball is moving further and further till that height arrived. So if that height don't arrive, then this ball is moving further and further towards infinite distance for infinite time. So that is the first law of motion. Now here I am deriving the first law of motion that unless and until if any object is at rest or motion unless and until if we are not giving force then that object if it is rest then it will remain in rest and if it will it will is in motion then it will remain in motion. So if we are providing some force so there may be change of position of that object means motion can be changed but if we don't give any force then that object if it is it was in rest then it will remain in rest and if it is was in motion that it will remain in motion so that is the first law of motion and the first law of motion indicates the inertia property of that object inertia means the object don't want to change its situation, its position. That is called inertia. If it is in rest, it, it wants to be, remains in rest. 
and if it is in motion it wants to remain in motion that is the properties of inertia now this ball is moving further and further for infinitely long time and infinitely long distances we are having another example of this law of motion if we are just playing carom board in carom board we are putting we are building this coins right so these coins we are building up and with the striker if we just give the force on the bottom coin what happens that bottom coin is moving further but all the other coins just place that particular position so all other are just placing bottom so what is the reason for that the reason is they want to be in inertia position they don't want to move see here their base is moving so they all have to move but here they are all not want to move because of inertia that's why they are just placing downward direction and only bottom coin is moving further so that is the first law of motion never uh, upward coins don't want to move right that is inertia property another that uh, if we are having glass which is filled with uh, water or uh, we can also vacuum that glass now if we put one thick paper on the upper surface of that glass and now i am putting one coin here on the on the that thick paper now by striking by giving fast force that paper remove itself and that coin is now here at the bottom of that glass so we have to give force suddenly by striking that thick paper so that coin what what that coin moves in downward direction so downward direction that coin moves so this is another example of inertia so that is first law of motion that coin don't want to move that's why it will move in downward direction because earlier that coin here we are placed because of that thick paper but that thick paper now moves so only gravitational force is there that's why that coin is just falling inside of that glass so that is first law of motion again i am repeating myself definition of uh, laws of first laws of first first law of motion that is if any object is rest or in motion unless and until if we are not giving force that object will remain in rest if earlier it is rest and that object is will in motion if that was in motion so that is first law of motion